Hey y'all, today I will be showing you how to create this cool postcard animation in Canva. So before we get started, I want to give a special shout out to my first channel member, Bonnie. This person is amazing for what she does with Canva and I am so humbled and appreciated to have you on my team. Big hearts to you. So for this project, I am using a video format or you can use a presentation one, whatever you prefer. So the first thing I wanna do is start setting up my postcard. So I'm gonna go into elements. I'm gonna type in the word rectangle. So I don't want to use a shape. I wanna use a graphic of a rectangle and why is because I wanna use shadows on my rectangle. So I found, is it this one? No. Let me see, where did you go? Look, this one right here. I use this rectangle shape that looks like this. So what I wanna do is change it to the color. Now this is for the base one, and we'll just do two, we'll just do this one, and then we'll do the color one. So I'm gonna turn that to white, and then I can go into edit image, and because it won't do a shadow here, if you see it's taking me to the old editor, and I don't know if that's doing that for y'all, but it'll start me in the old editor and then move me over to the new one. So same as you just go in a duotone. I'm going to change this color to white, and I'm going to change this one to white. I'm going to push apply, and then once it's on the pause saving, you'll see right here when it finishes doing that, it will go to the new editor. See? I don't know why it does that, but hey, now I have my shadows. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a drop shadow to that. Let me turn it the way that I'm gonna put my postcard in there. And then you're just gonna adjust the shadow the way you want. If you wanna add some more blur, if you wanna take down the intensity and have it a little bit lighter, um, have the distance out closer, whatever you wanna do, just adjust your shadows in there and then you're good. Now that I have the back for my, I really don't, I think that little shadow is a little harsh, but we're going to go with it for the moment. So now what I want to do now, this was strictly white. So what I did for my background is just take the white, because if you just use white, you see you're losing that edge right there. So I just wanted to go in here and make this a hair bit just off. If you're not going to use like a photo or something like I used in the, the thumbnail, I used, let's see, this for a background. And you can do that or something like that if you just want your, your card on a table. And you can fluff up, fluff up your table. So while we're working on it, we're going to keep it on this angle. And then I just went into frames and picked out the words for a Dubai. I'm gonna put this out of the way for the moment. A. Hold on, where's an eye? Where's my eye? Eye. Really? There it is. All right, that's all of them. So I'm going to grab them and I am going to highlight them. I'm going to go into position. I'm going to center middle. That way they look like they're all the same size. And then you can reduce them or make them bigger. However you want to do it for this moment. And you might want to do that again afterwards to fit on your postcard. So, so we can kind of see, I'm going to do it here and I am just going to spread them out. I'm going to reduce them down. I am going to let's see put them how I might want to put them in the frames. 
So, and then I'm just going to go and grab my photo that I want to use for that. And let's see, what did I use? I used this one right here. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't even know how to say that and I'm not trying to. So I'm going to just go and drop that into each of my frames. Vroom, vroom, and vroom. And then I'm going to go and line it up. So I'm going to use the top of my D and the bottom of, no, I need to use the top of my B. Let's use the top of my B and the bottom of my U to, and the edge of my D. Oh, we need to go bigger, don't we? So we can get all the way to the I. So I'm going to use the top of my B and the side of my D to place those. So we're going to make it big. I'm going to go D, B, and then stretch it out. Let's see if it's looking lined up. If it's not lined up, it's just because I'm just kind of, you know me, showing technique versus being all pretty for these. And I... Do, 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 do. No, 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 no. Make it a bigger. Make it a bigger. All right. Pretty close, if not. So, what I want to do now is for the. You can go ahead and group these if they're in the position that you want to. And then I'm going to bring my postcard back down, size my postcard to the size that I want to use for my postcard. And then I am going to go into position layers so I can grab that easy, grab that, and then put it on here like so. And put it on here however you want to. Um, let's see. Then you're going to throw whatever text you want on there. Um, like, greetings from, and then let's see. You're going to put whatever you want in here, and you can put that up there. And however you want. Let's Oh, do both words, silly, silly Canva. Oh, look at this thing. Grab what I want. I want the words. Come on over here. However you want to do it and put whatever kind of text you want to do and jazz up your, your postcard. Okay. And then once you got your postcard done, you can go ahead and you can group your postcard all together so you don't have to worry about that. And I'm going to kind of move it over to the side. Now we're going to work on the stamp. So for the stamp, I use this stamp right here. And it's a post mail stamp. So I want to do this and I'm using this so I can actually use the thing. So I want the outside of the stamp to be white. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to change that color to white. The center is not going to make any difference, but I am going to go ahead and change that to white also just because. And then what you want to do is you're going to go over to elements and you're going to grab a square frame and you're going to size it to whatever size, uh, page you're using I would make it just a hair a bit bigger okay so that's so when you pull it out and then once you've got that where you want it I'm going to take this down and see my stamp it doesn't fit my stamp 
we're going to make it smaller anyway. So it doesn't fit my stamp. So what I want to do now is I am going to go ahead and I am going to put shadows on this stamp. So I'm going to go over to edit image. As you can see, I'm back in here. So it doesn't have a shadow where I can use it. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to do exactly what I did last time. I'm going to go white. I'm going to go white. I'm going to apply and it should pop me over into the new editor. Once it's finished saving. And I'm in the new editor and I'm going to add a shadow. I'm just going to add a drop to it. I'm not going to mess with it too much because for time, but you can make your adjustments on there. So now what I want to do is I want to take this, I want to duplicate this and I want to line it up. I want to get, put this, my stamp part in here, and then I'm going to go into position and I'll make sure those are behind there. And then I'm just going to align this up so it looks like a whole stamp. I'm going to hold my control key because it's grabbing onto my frame. And then when it looks like a stamp size that I want to use, then I am good. So that's how you work around and make your stamp the size you want it to be. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to crop it down kind of to the edge and then see how you have now you have your stamp and then you can just put your stamp in there center it up if it doesn't center like you want to of course you can go in here and use your arrow keys bump 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 and that's how i made my stamp to fit the size of what i need so now i can group all that together Oops, you know me. Look at me hitting that dang on duplicate key. All right, now we're going to hit the group. And now I have my stamp. So I can move my postcard over here. And I can size it to go on my postcard. And I can go into elements. Let's see, what was that other Dubai picture? This one. What are you doing? Where'd it go? Right here. And then I can just drop that into that frame. Hold on, because it's little, it might be little. So if you have trouble dropping something in a frame and it's big, sometimes you just need to reduce it down. So now I have my stamp. And I don't, if you're going to move, when you go to turn it, I would just highlight it, not group it. And then you can give it a little twist, like so. And there you go. You have your postcard ready. And what you're going to do is you're going to just uh, duplicate the page. You're going to grab your postcard, straighten it back up, hit your little zero there. And then all you're going to do is go out like so. And I'm going to make this go down some. We'll move this out of the way so y'all can see. And then I'm going to make this big. And what you're going to do after that, and once you get your postcard set up, you're just going to go in here, take your match and move, turn it all the way up. And then you're going to set your timing on your frame, on your pages that you want. And then, hold on, before we play, let me, let's make this bigger. Ooh. And oh, we're going to go and go. And then it's going to come out and fill up your thing. So for the other one that I did, I'm just going to duplicate this page real quick and I bring it over here. And I think the transition between the two different ones, I think I used stack. So it, yeah, I used stack for in between those. So it was the postcards and then the stack to show the new one. So what I wanted to do with this is I'm going to take so I'm going to do another postcard. So what I want to do here is I can straighten this back up so I can work on it and ungroup. Um, I'm going to go into position to make this a little bit easier. I don't want Dubai or any of that stuff. So I'm going to highlight the first one, shift, highlight this last one, and I'm going to delete that. 
delete it. And then this still isn't straight, is it? Straighten it up, girlfriend. There we go. And then I just took, if you want to do like something like a photo one, like, uh, let's see, a ranch. Let's see if I can find a free one though. Um, oh, that's a good one right here. So what you can do is just take this and make it to the size. So most post postcards have an edge. So what you want to do is kind of just put that in the center like so. And then you can put all your text on it. Then you can move your stamp over here. Move that. Let's get that position. Move that up to the top one, top part. Move it over. Put all your text on here. And then go back in here. Oh, he lost my ranch. There we go, ranch. And then see if we could find another uh, photo, another ranchy. A range, free range. Oh, let's do the horses. All right. And then you can put your horses over here. And then oh, what I would do is highlight these, twist them the other way, like so. I don't need this page. I don't know why I made this page. Let's delete this page. And then I'm going to duplicate this page and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm just going to grab that. I'm going to, uh oh, I'm going to grab my stamp. I'm going to twist my stamp till it's straight. Go here, I'm going to reduce this down so we can see. Then I'm going to go and fill my page with the image. And then if you want to, of course, you can put text, whatever it is, uh, vacation 2020, or if you're you, 2020, why am I saying 20, 2024? I just went back in time, y'all. Um, so yeah, so once you do this, let's see, let's put all these at like 2.5. Yeah, that was 2.5, wasn't it? One day when you put a number in here, it'll actually go through. All right, and then we'll take a look at it. Let me make this thing bigger for y'all. We'll start in the middle of this one. And then you just go and then it'll go there and then go to your next postcard and up it goes. So let me look at this one and see if it's still, that was the kind of jittery one. There it goes, it's moved out. I guess Canva was having a little uh-oh movement. But that is just an easy peasy one. I saw that on PowerPoint, somebody, it was a short. It wasn't even a full video, it was a short. I thought it was really cool. I like the little postcard effect. I think that was really cute. It'd be good for, for different kinds of things. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for stopping by and hanging in there with me. I love you guys. I hope to see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.